All right, let's bring in House uh, Small Business Committee Chairman, uh, Texas Congressman, baseball player and car dealer, Congressman Roger Williams. Roger, good to see you. Um, listen, just want to get your reaction. Great. Again, you're seeing the high cost of housing because there's more competition for housing with all these illegals that come into the communities. But whether it's 10 million or, or 20 million, whatever the number that's come in under uh, Joe Biden, we're not really sure. Uh, but that's too many people for a country to absorb, but also to have that many people assimilate at the same time. And when you have this situation, you start to hear stories like this. I guess my question is, what can the Congress do? Does the, does the president really have all the power? Does the Congress have nothing to do uh, to address this crisis that Joe Biden and Kamala Harris have brought to our shore? I think Congress does, but also, you know, we've got rules in play and, and, and laws that keep all this from happening. And if you want to come to America, uh, you come through the right way, through the process we've got, and things usually work out, and you assimilate, and you learn the language, you get a job, and you realize the American dream. But we sent a message here with the Biden administration that there are no laws here. Uh, you can break them. You can come on. You're going to get money. You're going to get schooling. You're going to get health care. And so they come on, and they and this is what happens. It's like in the small town you just talked about. They get overrun. And my, and, and, and Dagan and Sean, where are these people going to go? I mean, they have no, they they don't have a, a future date to be somewhere. And uh, I think it's a shame what the Biden administration does. But we have laws in place. If we just adhere to the laws, we can fix the border problem in a large part. I'm, I'm going to just sound like a broken record, but this is intentional. This is intentional hardship, Congressman, that has been inflicted upon every law-abiding American not just citizen, but anyone who is here legally in this country. And look no further than Biden and Harris's Department of Justice that intervened to ensure that potentially 1,600 non-citizens in Virginia dilute the votes of citizens and are allowed to break the law. It is illegal in Virginia and in the United States of America to cast a vote if you are not a citizen. But the, this Department of Justice w intervened to make sure that happens. That's who's running the country right now. Yeah, there's no question. And look, it's socialism in its purest form. It's happening right now. That's why this election is so important. We got to stop it. We got to get back to being a land of law, a land of opportunity, instead of a land of guarantees and no laws. And that's where we are now. It's getting worse every day. So, Roger, we're, we're short on time, but I want to get your take on this because you are uh, running the Small Business Committee. Uh, there's a new study that finds that one in five small businesses could be out of cash by Christmas. There's over 60 million Americans that work for small and medium-sized businesses in this country. Uh, this could be catastrophic, not just for the business owners, but for the, for the very people that work for those small businesses. It could be cataclysmic. Uh, are you hearing similar stories about the cash crunch that's happening with small businesses? Yeah, there's a, ca there's a cash crunch in small business, Main Street America, in large part, because all the regulations these people have put on the, the banks, for example, the banks are hiring more compliance officers, our loan officers now, and sometimes it's cheaper not to make the loan than to make the loan to the guy that wants a five or $10,000 line of credit to meet payroll. So Main Street's been under attack for a long time by Joe Biden and, and, and Kamala Harris, and there is a cash flow problem in America, but we need competition, we need inventories, we need to slow down inflation, and it all helps Main Street. But the bottom line is they're trying to cut off opportunity, they're trying to cut off the opportunity to start a business uh, through a socialistic agenda, which I don't think is going to work. And it's going to be shot, talked about November 5th. Congressman, great to see you. Thank you, sir, Thanks, so Roger. much. Roger Good Williams. Be Thank well, you. sir.